The 2013 Corruption Perception Index by Transparency International saw Uganda drop three places from 2012 with 26 points out of a possible 100, which is the best score. Corruption continues to plague Uganda. We at the Inspectorate of Government believe that the problem of corruption can best be fought when you improve the civil service. The Ombudsman says they have encountered major roadblocks in fighting corruption. Government departments do not readily cooperate when officials are summoned to give evidence. They give excuses and are hesitant in coming to make statements. Tracking corruption requires tracking the documents used and many times some institutions take time handing over these documents. You need to track calls or get information from banks and telephone companies. This requires a court order and yet the IGG has the power to demand this information. Lack of equipment for surveillance and recording interactions. So we do basic investigations and for you to be successful in prosecuting an offense, offenses especially under the Anti-Corruption Act, you know that corruption is always discreet. You do not have people say taking bribes in the open. For you to catch them, you've got to be able to have uh, advanced methods of investigating. Many Ugandans do not feel that major strides have been made in fighting corruption. If anything, they are disappointed. We need to find a scientific way of measuring whether corruption is increasing or decreasing. It cannot, I believe, be established from the number of people arrested or cases prosecuted. The Corruption Perception Index places Denmark as the least corrupt worldwide. They have such little tolerance for the vice that in 2012 they cut aid to Uganda over the many corruption scandals that rocked the country, and they have been consistent. Denmark is a country that developed peacefully for hundreds of years, and we were able to build up strong institutions that can, can do their work without interference. We have a very effective a public administration. We have a high level of salaries, so there is no motivation for people to be corrupt because they can get what they have the right to receive without paying a bribe. The IGG argues that one of Uganda's major handicaps in fighting corruption is that many in the public condone corruption and are reluctant to report the corrupt even when there are mechanisms and laws to protect whistleblowers. Josephine Karunji, NTV.